Hello and welcome to another Game Salad tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through publishing your Game Salad project, uh, creating an APK version of it so that you can use for testing on Android devices. So let's, using our example here, let's say you've completed your project and you're ready to test. We'll begin by hitting the publish button and this will upload your project file to the Game Salad so publishing portal. We are going to treat this as a new game, add new game to portfolio. And we're going to select directly under the publisher to a new platform section, Android. And that leads us to the Android settings scene, where we'll begin by entering an Android package name, which should follow a specific naming convention. For example, uh, I like to use com dot, the name of the game I'm working on at the moment. For example, apk test, apk test, dot, g is helper, something unique. Uh, Display name, this is what you'll see on the actual Android device. So let's, yeah, we can leave it as APK test. Android version code, we'll put set that to 1. Publicly visible version, 1. And as at the date of this video, the minimum SDK level required by Google is version 28. These are some additional settings you can choose, but for the purpose of this video, it wouldn't be necessary. So let's switch down to touchscreen, this section here. And for my particular project, I've noticed the best benefits on the majority of devices using the overscan technique. So that's what I'll use. If in your case, stretch or letterbox looks better, you can go ahead and select those. Here would be where you normally upload a custom loading wheel, you know, that little spinning icon at the bottom, or a splash the, the start screen, the splash screen image. But again, for the purpose of this video, we leave all of that out, including this area, the service configuration area. Now, let's go with generate APK. And we wait on our little notification to pop up, letting us know that it has started. And we wait on the one that also says it is complete. Here we go. Publishing complete. Now let's hit the sign APK button to download our published project file. Alright, let's, ah, in some instances this error may pop up. What you just need to do is go back to where your APK signer is selected. In my case it's the home folder, uh, my SDK folder, build tools, I'm using the 30.0.2 to build as at the date of this video, APK signer selected, and here we go. Now I can select my key store. Again, I save, try to save all of these things in the same location. Password for key store. Next. And I'm going to save my APK on in a new folder on the desktop. Next. Here we go. And if you have not used a specific folder to save your APK, uh, or you can't remember where it's located, you can simply click the Show Signed APK in Finder button, and it will pop up the exact location of it. And this version, the apk underscore test dot apk, the signed version, is what you'll be using to upload to Google Play in order to put it onto your device. And that's it for quick APK testing. Thanks once again for looking at another Game Salad tutorial.